What is up guys, Jinga here today, and what I got for you guys today basically I'm is another you. life story, and then I no, thought this don't. one was absolutely funny, and it, I found it extremely funny at the me. time, and about a, a couple other people th uh, thought that? it was funny at the time, but anyway, let's get right into the video. So, this life story happened to me about <laughs> last year sometime, around 8th eighth, eighth grade at the time. So I came in, I came to school, and I had biology or science first thing in the morning. And so I went to my biology class, and I noticed there was a new kid in the class. And, well, I didn't know anything to do. I didn't know anything. I didn't know him. I didn't have anything to do with him. better be nice to me so break your weenie in half. I didn't. Fuck, man, I'm tongue-tied. Sorry, guys. <laughs> well, I didn't know I didn't have anything to do with him. And he was just perfectly normal in that class. And I didn't talk to him, but he was just at his own table. He, was, he wasn't even doing anything. I didn't even see him do work for the whole period. So that period went by um, quickly. So we went to my English class, which was my next period class, my second period. Which... Actually, we Dude, were in the same class, everybody which everybody was a coincidence. Dude, those people, those and people just, do, uh, a little, it? just a little, just a little note do, uh, about this kid, guys. This kid was from a different school, and he song, has been ex expelled they can't do that. Yeah, from his that's other school, and he was put into they my school, that. which You're that extremely share. surprised me. That my school was respectful and known for good behavior, and everything like that. But he was still put in my school. And anyways, yeah, he was put into my school, and he had a bad record for mm, behavior, and he had basically some big problems mm, with his behavior. No. So basically, he came into the English class and just sat down for a few with a few other no. students. He didn't know no. them, and he just sat down with them. I and anyway, if they were being kind and stuff, you know, you gotta be be nice to the new the kid. Then the new kid, possible? and he just. He, the new kid, he just sat down with him, and he didn't really Not talk me. to them. He just got on his phone, and I don't know what he was doing, I guess, texting or something. But my English teacher was a bit late to the lesson. So we went, so when he came in, and he, all right, let's call, um, let's call the kid Chad. So Chad, he was like, he was like, Chad, put your phone away. John, John. And, of course... He didn't even look at him. He just carried on texting and whatever he was doing on his phone. And he was like, Chad, can you please put your phone away? And still no reply. So he was like, so he said it a lot louder the third time. And he was like, Chad, put your phone away. And then he looked up. He didn't even say a word to him. And then looked back down and started carrying on texting again. So my teacher went forward to him and was Eddie's like, you know that's against school policy to be texting during class. Oh. And he said, I don't give a shit about school policy. He's fucking, he's, so yeah, at this trying, point, we you know, knew loops, things were going down. So basically, loops. my teacher and the students were yeah, arguing yeah. So that's what instantly, doing. like simultaneously, or however you say it. So I didn't care. I didn't give a crap. And then, well, I'd say, and then so Chad the was like, I don't play. give a crap. And then the teacher was like, I'll take your phone away from you. And he said, no, you're not taking my phone off of me. So what? And I remember that the kid ended up walking out of the classroom, and he just went. So basically, from this point forward, my teacher and Chad was still arguing. He was still asking him for his phone and to hand his phone over. And he kept saying no. So what happened was the kid was cursing at the teacher and was just going mad at him, just going ham and shit at him. And so <laughs> he was um, using offensive language against the teacher. And, well, my teacher, I remember, said something pretty funny to Chad. Like, basically funny to Chad. You know what I mean. Like, fucked up to Chad. Like, really. So Chad was pretty fucking dumb. And I thought he was... Chad thought he was pretty clever, right? So... What'd you call it? And at this point, I think my teacher had a phone up the office and sent like one of those security security um sure. was one of the school's mom. officers down and had to come over and export Not this kid sure. out of the classroom and put him into like a uh, instant um a room by himself. So what I mean by a room by himself is basically 
just to, the own room, just him in it, a desk, a, four walls, and a chair. So this meant nothing good. I think he decided at this point. Um, I think he decided at this point. I didn't. I didn't ever see the kid again. I asked the English teacher where he gone, and he was, and he uh, confirmed it at this point that Chad was expelled. <laughs> so yeah, guys, that was basically the story, guys. I hope you guys did like this. Um, story and i'm sorry i'm sorry for like um yeah all they these are. ums and shit in the stories it's just it's been a while yeah, i'm in my grade i'm black. in grade 10 yeah, yeah. 10 now going into 11 <laughs> so that was like basically three years ago uh, it said a I'm year ago but i i um <laughs> oh i'm going into my grade 11th right now so going into grade 11 um, and that was like when know, I was in 8th grade and I remember Robert telling Downey the story Jr. sometime I yeah. think I I think it was on my other channel well, he, I remember um, telling the story just been revealed cause that I, I younger, don't remember my other channel school, but I had a, life a stories on that channel um, and at the time I was in ninth grade Thomas and I told it it's so called a nerd right I was trying to like bring back some memories or some shit by saying a year ago so yeah guys I hope you guys did like this um, story and wow. I'm doing a giveaway basically all you guys have to do is like this um, video and you guys have a chance to enter uh, a PS4 shit, Neo man. giveaway and if you guys also yeah. subscribe, you guys can double your up, chances uh, of winning the PlayStation 4 Neo. Like I said, I'm giving away two of them. Like the and basically, like all you guys have to do is decade? like this video and subscribe. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, I hope you guys did like this video. And um, tomorrow, I'll be telling you guys a story about how my mom hates me now. Because this was about a week ago. And I was just sitting there outside yeah, I more, already um, done my chores already done everything know that she wanted me to play, do something um, right and I said I already done it well she didn't believe me and everything be, um, this caused old, so um, I'll explain that lady. one tomorrow so, so yeah guys I hope you guys did like this video I'll catch yeah, you guys on in the Spider-Man Homecoming